All right, we have a very important topic today. Oh, there we go. No worries. You can you hear me, right? Yeah. Okay, it's not like. All right, so we have a super important topic today. I hope I have your full attention, no multitasking. Yeah, of course. Okay, great. So, do you remember what you said when you came, when you, when you started your journey as a Muslim, right? Do you remember the first statement that you recited, the verbalization of your faith? I didn't memorize that, but I remember saying. But do you, do you remember like what it implied, like relatively speaking, what it meant in English or? Um, you told me a little bit about the English version, like uh, that you believe that Allah is the the greatest, the one and only one, stuff like that. Right? Yeah. So basically, what you said is La ilaha illallah. That I testify, I confirm, I affirm, I bear witness that there is no one worthy mm -hmm. of my full worship, full submission, full love, full fear accept Allah yeah right and that I testify that Muhammad peace be upon him is the messenger of Allah yeah fantastic so now so this is what you have realized as a truth as a path to success success what will guarantee you uh, your eternal retirement with youth age in paradise mm -hmm. right so now you have a GPS route to paradise you have a route to uh, to, to to success but you would not get to success unless you are driving on that route. That is true. Yeah. So that is the reason we do our sync up calls, our you know catch up on WhatsApp daily sync ups and whatnot to make sure that hey, while I'm driving on my business, my career, you know, my health and other areas, I'm also driving on the route to paradise. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Now the the one of the greatest thing after that is the five daily meetings with Allah mm -hmm. okay so let me so now you remember how you said that Prophet that, that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah right yeah okay let me show you what Muhammad said peace be upon him about these five daily meetings all right so you see my screen right yeah okay hope it's still recording it okay yeah so so you know how the other day, I, oh no, actually I'm going to show you first here. So look, he said, peace be upon him, that between a man and associating others with Allah, right? That is disbelief, is the, the dividing line is giving up of prayer. Right? Okay. Because, because if you think about it, why would some of, someone give their meetings with Allah? You know, essentially there's something else that is, you know, more beloved to them something else that's more attractive to them than mm -hmm. Allah and you know that goes against the statement of la ilaha illallah that there's no one worthy of my worship submission trust love you know full love except Allah and he said yeah. that look the first met actually can you read this for me which one the first matter yeah that the slave will be brought to account for on the day of judgment is prayer if it is sound then the rest of his deeds will be sound, and if it is bad, then the rest of his deeds will be bad. Absolutely. Okay, and and the last one? He has also informed us Allah has obligated five prayers. Whoever excellently performs these absolutions, praise. So ablutions is the vudu, right? Ablutions is the vudu, uh, right? Uh, praise them in their pro proper times, um, completes their vows, prostrations, and Kushu. Yeah, so that's the Arabic terminology. In essence, it means the presence of the heart. So it's not like, you know, you're going in and doing your burpees, right? It's not like, you know, mm -hmm. up and down, burpees, push up, boom, 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 right? It's like you're present, yeah. you're trying to remember Allah, trying to focus on who Allah is, your relationship with Him, so on and so forth. Yeah. And has a promise for Allah that He will forgive him. And whoever does not do that has no promise from Allah. He may either forgive him or punish him. Right. So now I hope that the reason I'm saying this is that kind of to help prioritize on this important thing. Right. And another way of doing that. So I want to empower you so that you can, you know, once you know the route, you can self motivate yourself on that route. So if you go on this website that we were talking about in the last call, which is sunnah.com, S U N N A H dot com. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you able to go there right now? Um, yeah, I can, but I, I didn't want to like, because I want to meet with you to say, can I just do everything in English now? Because I'm not going to be able to do it in Arabic. Okay. It slows down everything. Right. So yeah. I wanted to get the English meaning of everything and just pray in English and then I could, everything would be a lot better. 
Okay, fantastic. We'll, we'll talk about that. Let me just like show you one thing and then we'll go about on that topic. All right. Okay. Now, now you see here, so if, if you go on sunna.com, I just want to, like, are you able to maybe open in your mobile or computer this website? Cause, <clears throat> and then on the, on the right side, do you see this thing where it says, you know, Riyadu Salihin? Yeah, I click on that. Yeah. And then you'll see a chapter list, right? Like I, like you're seeing on my screen, correct? Mm -hmm. So you click on this thing, the book of miscellany. Okay. All right. Now here, if I were to do control F and last time we searched for prayer, so I'm going to search for Salah, S-A-L-A-H. You spell it S-A-L-A-H. All right, got it. So, so if you ever wanted to motivate yourself about the prayers, you can go on this link and then, you know, look up the, the, so this is a collection of what the messenger of Allah said about prayer. So it kind of shows you what happens if you pray, uh, what happens if you don't pray and so on and so forth. Okay. So for example, right now, this is a beautiful hadith, right? This is a beautiful narration. So if you can mm -hmm. read that and then we'll go on your question. All right. We'll do a type of salah, the utterance of of alhamdulillah all praise belongs to allah fills the scales of good actions the uter utterance of subhan allah wallah wa allah wa, wa alhamdulillah um allah is far removed from every imperfection and all praise belongs to allah fills the space between the heavens and the earth and salah prayer is light and charity is the proof of faith and endurance is light and the and the Quran is a plea in your favor or against you. Every person, de every person departs. He either ransoms it or puts it in perdition. Okay, so you see that this is so beautiful, right? I mean, so empowering. Mm -hmm. So you can get the advice from the Messenger of Allah as your daily dose. So think about it. Look, first it says wudu is half of salah, right? So it's it's a it's a component of the salah. It's a part of the salah that you make your ablution you cleanse your body in the way that Allah yeah. Allah has taught you now you see the next thing alhamdulillah subha it gives you the meaning of what it means actually you see we say these things remember so alhamdulillah mm -hmm. means all praises belong to Allah mm -hmm. and then uh, so Allah's messenger is telling us that look this fills the scales of good actions mm -hmm. right and, okay. and and the and the saying of subhanallah you know this thing right we say this thing it means that mm -hmm. Allah is away and removed from any imperfection, any dis deficiency, and all praises belong to Allah. Okay, and right. you saying this thing, you saying this thing actually impacts as if the whole space between the heavens and the earth is filled up. Okay. Okay, and then your your salah, the five prayers that you, you pray, this is light, right? So this will be the light of guidance, okay? It will be the it will be the light that you will use in your grave, okay, and so on and so forth, and then so you can also think of it as as you know how you charge your phone, right? So think yeah. of it as charging your own faith. So because the faith can also diminish if we don't take care of it. Yeah, of course. I just want to pray in English. That's all I want to do because everything else is good, but I just want to pray in English because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to pray. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Let's just I'm not as amazing as praying in the the Holy Word, but I rather just pray in English. It's what I know. I, okay, I understand that, Nathan. Let, let me yeah. just come back to that. Let me just finish this narration with all this. Yeah. Well, okay, so now look, charity is a proof of faith. So when you give up some money, you you give up something that that you love, and you give it mm -hmm. up for the sake of Allah, that kind of proves your faith. Okay, and then finally, you know, um, that look every day we are either earning for us or against us. Right, so our actions basically dictate that. Okay, anyways, now let me come back to your question. Okay. Great. So let me stop sharing. Now, there's two things. Uh, you can pray in English. That's not an issue, right? Okay. But let me ask you a question. Uh, when you say that, you know, I testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Yeah. Right? Then, so if we ask him, like, how he taught us to pray, Right. So, I mean, you can pray like any way you like. I mean, you can, you know, you can do push-ups instead of prayers. Right? I can't stop that. Right. But if your yeah. desire, if your desire is to please Allah, 
then you're, you're trying to be align yourself with the words that Allah has revealed, right? But Not, so if I pray in English, I won't be praising Allah then? Well, I mean, you will be, you can pray, you can pray to Allah in English outside of the obligatory prayers. I want to do all my prayers in English then. You want to do all your prayers in English? Every single one. Okay, but that's not the way that Allah has taught us. Well, that's what I'm going to learn because either way, I had that. Okay. Way for me to get from point A to point C is like that middle ground is me English, and then once I have that, then I could convert, then I could go to like uh, Arabic. But just to go from English to Arabic right away and this new religion, it just doesn't motivate me to pray at all. Okay, fantastic. So, how would you start your prayer? In English? No, well, I need to know the English translation for everything and do the exact same thing, but just say it in English. That's it. Okay. So, for example, would you say Allahu Akbar or is that hard too? Mm -hmm. uh, no, no. I would say that in English. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say Allah Akbar. You say it in English? Yeah. I'll praise the Allah. I'll praise the Most High. I'll start off that way. Okay. So, I will do everything in English. Okay. So, let, let me ask you something. Like, is it hard for you to say Allahu Akbar? Um, a little bit. Okay, and, and you are you're a tough guy, right? So you don't run away from challenges, do you? No. Okay, so say Allahu Akbar, for example. Allahu Akbar. Right, and then you repeat yourself that you know Allah is the greatest, for example. Yeah, Allah is the greatest. So so how hard is that? Like I'm asking, is that hard? That's not hard, but then it gets it gets a lot harder when you have to say a bunch of different sentences. Okay. Because when you start off with one, but then you have to start to say a bunch of different ones, and then to learn that whole learning curve is something that I can't go through right now because I. Other stuff to do. No offense to Allah, but He's <laughs> planned out my life in a certain way, and He made me very busy and blessed me with the talents that I have. So I have to take things one step at a time. This is a challenge, like to over, like to learn a lot. This religion is a learning curve, so I want to do it in the best way possible with what I'm currently doing right now in terms of like growing my business. Fantastic. So English is just the best way. I'm just saying. I understand. I mean, yeah, let's discuss that. I, I appreciate that. Hard to memorize in English, but I'm gonna memorize it in English, and then once I get that, then I'll. Be good. Okay, I appreciate that. So, so look, I mean, you you're saying that you don't have ten minutes to repeat those five phrases, and it's been like six months that you're into Islam, right? Almost. In ten ten minutes to repeat those five phrases. Yeah. Yeah, so, but to memorize those phrases takes a lot of brain power. So to, to memorize that, I have to like forget something else. Completely. Okay, that's like, no, no. I'm not okay. So good. So I'm not saying to memorize. So big. I understand. I'm not saying to memorize it. Mm -hmm. How about you see? How about you print out a big paper with big fonts? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you put it on the ground so you can read it off there. I won't know how to say it though. No, no. You know? Okay. Do you know how to say Allahu Akbar? Yeah. Do you know how to say Subhanallah? Sort of. Yeah. There we go, right? So you're gonna write it in a way with big letters, really big font, and you will say the same thing. But I don't see why I can't do it in English, because then if I memorize it then, then at least I know the meaning of the word. Okay, well what there's... Go back to once I change the Arabic. Great, great question. There are two, two, two challenges with that. Number one is most likely you won't get to it, right? Because your life is not gonna get less busier. It will keep getting busier and busier. That's not true. <laughs> Nathan, you know that, come on. <laughs> Like it's been like six months, man. It's been six months. It, it's been six it's months. I'm getting busier and busier. At a certain point, I'm gonna retire. That's what I'm working towards. Yeah, everybody says that. You know that, right? Yeah, but I'm not everyone. That's... Okay. Look. So what happens if if you if if you die tomorrow or in the next five days? Look, as like we just read the. What if I die tomorrow? Wouldn't I be like like wouldn't he show mercy? Because I've he would. Tired. He would. Right. But as the yeah. Prophet said, that the promise is on the uh, the promise of Allah is based on doing things properly to the best of your ability. Yeah, and things to do things properly is not to go straight to Arabic. Because the way I'm praying right now is just horrible. Like I can't even know. Like it's embarrassing. I don't. That's why I don't even want to pray because I can't do it properly, right? But if I do it in English, then I'll be good. Okay. I learned how to pray in English when I first started when I was growing up. So that's what I know best. Okay. So I think praying in English <laughs> five times a day and then go from there. Okay, Nathan, you're gonna pray in English. That's fine. That's clear. I'm just let's yeah. explore the alternative. Okay. Later. No, no yeah. I'm just saying. Okay, let's just like walk through it. Let's see, because I think you're making it too hard than what it is. It's not harder than what it's Arabic. It's a completely different language. It's not even French. It's not Spanish. It's Arabic. Okay. It's one of the hardest languages. No. So, do you, let, let me ask you a question. Do you think when you say Allahu Akbar, is that perfect or not? 
That is one word. I could say konnichiwa, right? But then if you put five other Japanese words in front of me, I'm going to be like, oh, what is this? Okay, that's I'm it. This. Good, it's good, good. It's to learn five Japanese words, <laughs> but it's going to take some time because the first one's easy and the other five are like, oh, Okay, wow. all right. Let, let, me, let me give you a trick to do the next one in two seconds. Mm -hmm. or, or, or one minute. Okay? Okay. Subhanallah. I, I know how to say that one too. Actually, there's one point where I memorize all five perfectly with Muftar, right? Yeah. But I'm saying yeah. don't memorize it. I know because memorization is becoming a challenge, right? What I'm saying. Don't memorize how to pronounce it properly, even if it's right in front of me. No, you, well, you already know that. Your, your pronunciation is whatever you say is perfect, mm. right? And then you keep saying it will just make it better and better. So, what I'm suggesting, consider this, right? You you print out a paper. You have a printer, right? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But I need. This is why I came on the call. Okay. I need you, I need you to call. Write the English translation of everything that we've done so far. Okay. Like in, properly on uh, WhatsApp instead of like on a piece of paper. Just go on WhatsApp. So I can copy and paste that. Then do my prayers. Because on top of just saying it, I have to like memorize like this and like how to do that properly. And I have that sheet with me right now. So I have to like do that. So like. Hey, okay. I okay. Do, like, I have to do one unit. And then what is three, three, four, three, or something like that? Two, um, four, four, two. three, four. I'm I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna send you a document of that. Not that's not okay. an issue, okay? But make sure you add the English version. And I will do all. that, sir. Okay, listen, okay. listen. Uh, okay, so let's say okay. So you're gonna do English. You're very stubborn about it. Okay. Yes. So that's fine. So I'm not. I can't say that this is fine. But you again, you have to do what you can do. So here, here's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say tell you two things. Number one, it's much better. It's like thousand ten thousand a billion times much better for you times. for you to mispronounce subhanallah than you yeah. do not even try it okay that is based on knowledge right i mean we, we don't have to do guesswork allah has already told us to do what what is to the best of our ability can you hear me because your video is paused yeah. okay yeah, so so that's one thing the second thing is if you still choose so, i mean you're an investor correct yeah. Okay. So if I tell you that, look, if you're gonna invest in this crypto or this stock, right? Even if you, um, even if you don't make the best of it, it's still gonna be much better than this traditional stock that you're aware of. Yeah. So English is your traditional stock. English and is your. Okay. I'm doing the English. There's no debate in this. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I just need to write out everything. Okay. There's no going back. Okay. So how would we practice, how would we, go, so would you, so okay, how, how about I suggest this, that at the end of the day or anytime during the day or in the morning, you send me a recording of these five phrases, so at least we, we, well in English you don't have to practice, you can already do that, right? Well, yeah. How, how, so how about we pick one, one phrase a day and, and, and until it becomes like Allahu Akbar to you, so then after a week you'll be comfortable with those phrases and then you can switch. So right now you do it in English, for example, but okay. let's, let's pick up this, you know, so today we're going to pick up SubhanAllah, let's, let's practice that for a few days, then Alhamdulillah, let's practice that for a few days until okay. we get them all taken care of and in a week or so we'll be able to swap back. How's that? Okay, sounds good. Alright, good. So I'm going to write that down and I'm going to send it to you. But in the meantime, so our goal is basically five daily prayers. Yeah. Okay. And start with Allahu Akbar. You already know Allahu Akbar, so don't don't mess that up. Okay, please don't don't try to translate that. Okay. Mhm. Mm and then we're gonna work on these five phrases, and obviously you're gonna watch some YouTube video. The reason you do that to kind of motivate yourself and make progress with New Muslim Academy. Sounds good. All right. That sounds like a plan. And Friday, you you know where you're gonna be. Yeah. So if you have a a meeting, a client meeting, always weigh the benefits and the loss. So you have yeah, a choice. Before, so, you know, make sure. Wait, what time on Friday? Between one, one and three? No, I, I can't. No, no. Because, listen, right. on Friday it's only between one twenty to two fifteen. No, no. I, but I factor in like travel time and everything, so that's why. Okay. So how about we find you something close to you, wherever you are? We'll find you something closer to you. Okay. There's actually one down the street, but like um, I gotta go. I gotta go there to see what's up. But yeah. Yeah. So that we can even find out on the phone what time they start the prayers and so on and so forth. But I'm saying, like, look, you have to imagine, like, you're from your whole week, 
you know, that's one of the most important meeting, right? And it's a choice. It's a choice. You can either go for business or you can go for, for, for spirituality. Yeah. Right. So I will tell you one thing straight up, man. You cannot retire faster by skipping prayers for sure. I want to do all of my prayers, but in English, please and thank you. No, no, I get it. I'm asking. I'm talking about the Friday prayers. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'll be there Friday, and all then right. we'll find a mosque closer. So I, I saw one down the street. I'll probably go stop by there and see what's up. All right, cool. So if you're not coming Friday, then we'll sync up on on, on a call on Friday or over the weekend. In the meantime, mm -hmm. let's continue the Arabic practice, and I'm gonna write, send you the, all this thing in writing. Okay. The translation. Yes, sir. Translation. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. So. Peace out.